everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have Strictly Limited Games, Darius Cosmic Collection, International Collector's Edition. I'm sorry, that was a mouthful for me to memorize. But uh, if you guys don't know what this game is, it's a collection of shoot 'em up games from 1997 that are on the Nintendo Switch. One game being the console version and the other game being the arcade version, as well as a bunch of goodies. So let's get this unboxing started. As usual, with Strictly Limited Games pre-orders, you'll have a nice little postcard right here as you have the Darius Cosmic Collection Arcade and Console Edition. So first off, you're actually seeing the SLG exclusive outer packaging. Now it's really nice, it's supposed to incorporate in the Darius Collector's Edition. One of their actual uh, people who work at Strictly Limited Games asked me uh, what happened. I just said to him it was just the shipping inside the box. It probably just shook around and everything, but he was uh, nice enough to actually offer some codes and other things that he'll send me later and I really appreciate it so if you guys have any problems with strictly limited boxing or shipping problems they will they will get back to you I promise on that one they're really nice so here we are the opening of the Darius collection here we are with the collector's edition is actually wow this is pretty hunky if you guys have actual uh, strictly limited games before it's probably about three-fourths more size than the actual collector's edition. So we have here a nice little cardboard outer sleeving. I wish the packaging was actually stuffed with a, a little bubble wrap because it looks like the outer sleeving got a little dented in, in itself on top of this. Oh wait, actually, everything's in the... Oh, is there more stuff? Oh my gosh, there's more stuff on the box. Oh, here we are. We have everything else. I thought it would actually come, come in the box as well. So here we are, the collector's edition of Darius Cosmic Collection Arcade and Console from Strictly Limited Games. They have the nice slip cover pole that they usually have for their games. It's always really nice to keep a nice little protection. I like the backside art that they have. This game is supposed to be really, really kind of like an acidic looking game, like trippy, like futuristic, very like bright, colorful and everything. I really like the designs on the cardboard. It actually goes on to the collector's edition itself. Um, the box itself is just wrapped in this whole artwork, which is great because nothing's left unturned. And then on the back side, they could have added something a little bit um, different than just the skin, but I'm still fine with it. The, the actual uh, style of the skin looks really sick. I'm pretty sure these are all the bosses you fight in the shump. But uh, here we are, we're just going to open this collector's editions. What I really like about this company is they always come with a nice little seal. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Okay, so we got one, two and three pins all right so we got three darius pins and then we have a four acrylic i'm pretty sure these are just acrylic five six i think it was six acrylic pictures oh my gosh <laughs> got so much going on so we got six acrylic pictures and then we got two cds both from each game set i'm really excited about this 10 songs on one 10 songs on another i'm wondering how long these songs are but they're supposed to be pretty fire uh and then you have it two games i wish they actually had like the demo input, so they, they one's not just like sliding around, you know. But here it is, arcade and console collection. And then here is the inside cover, which I haven't even got to yet. It is telling you all the games you get inside both of these games. It is a lot, I'm telling you that now. Which is why this collector's edition was priced at like 140 euro or dollars. I think it was right about there, 150. But uh, it's looking fire so far, so let's jump right in. So much coming in this collector's edition so far. We're gonna start with the instruction card that you get. It's Japanese and it pretty much tells you back in the day how to play the arcade game cabinet. And then here you have the actual stickers for Darius. I really love stickers. I put them on my laptop, my door, everything possible. I really like the designs. It really reminds me of like the really old games back in the day that I always used to play. I always reference 1943 as one of my favorite games to play. I love those uh, shoot 'em ups all the time. And here we have more instruction stickers that are actually really sick to look at because you don't really get stickers like this portraying like the games and how you like fight in the games. So getting from those actual stickers, we're gonna move over to these three pins. Just like I said, I love collecting stickers. I like collecting pins as well. From those pins, we're gonna get into these acrylic, I guess they call them uh, acrylic, six uh, SLG acrylic cards. Now I'm probably gonna use these either for a uh, uh, little, uh, what, 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 what do you call it? Uh, coasters, there you go. Gosh, come on, hub. Nice little. Oh yeah. Wow, these are actually really nice. I'm wondering if they're actually gonna like die under the, the condensation on my uh, on my cups or not, but uh, these pictures are actually really cool um, once you take the uh, scratches off of them. Uh, I'm wondering if they're actually gonna keep on scratching or not if I do put coasters on them. But uh, if someone wants to answer me that in the comments down below, that'll help too if I 
can put cups on acrylic coasters. They don't even call them coasters. On, uh, on these acrylic cards, please. But uh, I really like these, especially after you take them off the cover, they just have that like nice acrylic shine and so they add so much more depth to them. So these are really cool. Um, we're gonna put all these over to the side and I guess we're gonna get into the CDs right now because then you have the two games. Yeah, we're starting with the first one. I don't know, I got confused. I, I, as long as I see a number two, I'm pretty sure that's the second version of this. But uh, I do have to say, once looking at these CD covers, these are sick. Like they actually remind me of like a punk rock CD cover album. Um, but here we are, the front and back are really cool. That's actually really cool. The game itself is on this realistic poster that this tiny little, this is cool. I really like this. Like originality wise, this is awesome. 1997, there you go. Um, there are 10 songs in here, all telling you which game they're from. Uh, here we are, we're just gonna open this up for everyone. Oh, there we go. Maybe there's two, no, one CD, maybe? I didn't see. How's it looking now? Oh, yeah, there, oh, it's a booklet. <gasps> they have the booklet. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so you got the CD, very plain, but reminds me of like a, a nice like Wu-Tang album kind of looking uh, CD. This is really cool. I'm kind of glad that they have this, uh, this cover going. Yeah, there's only one CD. What's the under the CD, I wonder? Hup. Some more, yep, it's just that Darius picture that you have on the uh, back side of the cover. Now we're gonna jump into this tiny little booklet for a second. We're just gonna flip through it. Maybe it has the lyrics or something in the song. Oh, wow, okay, these, oh, there's more to it. Oh, this is awesome, everyone. So getting from that CD, I hope they're gonna have a bunch in this next CD. I'm looking forward to it because of they, because of them adding so much in this first one. Gosh, this front art picture, man. Now they added color on this one, that's really cool. I really like the artistic value that they put on these CDs. The awesome, just monochrome look, and then the saturated color for the game is really cool. And on the back side, they don't have the color, but they actually have the picture as well. Just like the first one, but it's still, just, oh, that's great. And even on the inside, you can see some of the little gameplay. I just noticed that one as well. Um, not on the first one though, I just, that's probably why I noticed it. So here we are, we're just gonna open this up. Oh, I hope so cool. This, I'm, I'm just, I'm just so blown away by these CDs already. There you are. Oh, it's a red CD, okay, there we go. Damn, dude, these are really reminding me of like 90s album uh, artwork when CDs used to be amazing, Tower Records used to be something. So you guys can see a little bit of the gameplay on the backside of the uh, second album cover right here. But then we're just gonna open this uh, next little text. Hopefully there's some interviews just like the first one. Now first we're gonna open up the arcade version. Now the arcade version has a little bit of a different cover as the uh, console version, but it does show you the games on the backside. Warning, Darius, Darius 2, there you go. There's the second game I was looking for. Now I got, wow, Collector's Edition 47 out of 1500. I never realized that one yet. That's pretty cool. I haven't had something under 100 yet. Actually, that'd be dope if I got an 001. Um, but here we are. I wish the uh, background had a little bit more than just like its nice little outer space look. Um, they could have added that like cool looking uh, skin cover towards the outside, but other than that, I kind of like, it's a generic shoot 'em up cover edition game. Uh, here we are going up for that, the inside look right now. Oh, Ooh, there you go. There you go, that inside cover looks really nice. And then there is no ESRB, which is also really cool. It was just strictly limited. I wish they added a little bit back si uh, of the background for the Switch uh, cart. So getting from the arcade version, we're gonna get to the console version. Now, uh, all these games on the backside are games as well. I'm actually questioning. Sag -yai, sag oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get roasted for that one. Um, Oh wow, now collector's edition, okay, on this one is 1265. That's really strange. 
I guess they put two different collector's edition uh, games inside. That's very, very strange. But uh, yeah, there's more games on here, and then there's nine, oh, okay, there's versions of the games on each one. All right, well, that's kind of weird. I've never seen this before. Maybe it's like the edging of something. I don't know, it looks kind of rusty, like a metal rust, but it's, I know it's not rust because it's paper. It looks like some water damage or something like that. I just pulled this game out of the box, so I really have no idea what's happening, but we'll show you guys in a slow-mo. But for now, we're gonna show you this inside of the game. There you go, just like the first one itself. And uh, it's looking good. I like it. It's just like a shoot 'em up game, like I was saying before. And then the card itself, a nice, easy, simplistic, again, wish I would have had something in the background, but there's no big ESRB. I'm totally fine with that one. And finally, we're gonna get into these, these, <laughs> this awesome hardcore, hardcore, I always say that, hardcover art book. So let's get it open.
All right, everybody, that was my unboxing for the Darius Cosmic Collection International Collector's Edition for the Nintendo Switch from Strictly Limited Games. It ran me about $150. I know it's pricey, but I love Shumps. I was playing them since I was a baby. I love the arcade cabinets. Uh, they were just really cool. I love the hardcover art book that they gave. They gave a lot of translations for their old school art that they did and just like all the stuff that they wanted to add to these games. Uh, I love the CDs. They're really OG. The stickers even came out really cool telling you like the instructions in Japanese. The support is hitting me up about the damaged box and all this other stuff and I really appreciate it. If you guys have any problems from Strictly Limited, please hit them up. They're really nice about getting things settled. Um, but what did you guys think about this unboxing? It might be pricey for you, maybe not, but tell me how you feel down in the comments below. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings just like this one. I hope you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Hubbalabaloo. I'll be streaming every day during the week except Tuesdays and maybe on the weekends as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'll see you next time.